Now that you know how to find stationary points, you need to determine their nature, so whether they are maximums or minimums. So have a think about this curve. Here we've got two turning points. This first one is called a maximum, and this second one is a minimum. And there are two ways of working out whether a coordinate you've found for a stationary point is a maximum or minimum. We can test the gradient on either side and see if it changes between positive and negative. Or we can use what's called the second derivative, which is noted as d2y dx squared. And I'll show you both of these ways. So first example, we have this parabola and we want to find the stationary point and determine its nature, whether it's a maximum or a minimum. So dy by dx is 2x minus 8. We set it equal to 0 and solve it and then work out what the y coordinate would be there. So we have a stationary point at 4 minus 12. Now method A means that we look a little bit below and a little bit above that x coordinate. So first of all we're testing out x equals 3.9, a little bit below that 4. So if we put 3.9 into the gradient function we get a negative answer. If we put a little bit more, 4.1, into the gradient function, we get a positive answer. So the gradient has changed, and it looks like this. So if you think about 4 being in the middle, to the left of it the gradient was negative, at 4 it's equal to 0, and to the right of 4 was a positive gradient. So you can see the shape that's being created there gives us a minimum. Now the second method is actually the preferred method for um, your AS work, and that is using d2y dx squared. So that means that we differentiate a second time, so we differentiate dy by dx again to get the second derivative. So if you differentiate 2x minus 8, you get 2. Now when the um, second derivative is greater than 0, that means that you get a minimum. So here's the um, note that you need on that. If the second derivative is greater than zero, you get a minimum. If it's less than zero, you get a maximum. So let's try that again. Find the stationary points on this curve and determine their nature. So we are just going to rearrange that to be y equals so that we can um, differentiate it properly. Differentiate y, you get dy by dx as the following. We want to set that equal to zero to find the stationary points. And we can factorize that one. So we've got our stationary points at x equals minus four and minus two. And then the corresponding y coordinates. So the second derivative, we need to differentiate our dy by dx function again. So we get two x plus six. And then we test it out at those coordinates, what that would be. So put in um, x being minus 4 for that first coordinate into our d2y dx squared uh, expression and we get a number that is less than 0. So 2 times minus 4 would be minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2 so that is negative. Therefore that is a maximum at that point. Um, at the other coordinates we put in um, x being minus 2 and you you can work that out, that one out to be greater than 0 therefore that coordinate provides us with a minimum point.